Hey guys, happy Monday. I just got a question from somebody, not in this group, but I just got an email and I thought that I would jump on here and answer it because it's regarding C-section recovery and many of you have the same questions about timelines as how to get back into certain workouts and things. So the question was, hey Christy, I'm three weeks post C-section and the doctor gave me the okay to do yoga. I'm not so sure about that. What other workouts can I do at this point? When can I start running again? I'd like to start using my body again, but safely. So awesome question because she obviously wants to do things safely, but is not getting good info from her doctor because I personally wouldn't recommend doing yoga at three weeks post C-section. The thing with a C-section is it, 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 it is a major abdominal surgery. So if we can compare it to something like an ACL surgery, that has a recovery period of nine to 12 months, right? So after a C-section, why are we trying to jump back into things like three, four, five, six weeks later? We have to give our bodies time to recover. So I know postpartum, we want to get back in shape so quickly. We've been pregnant for nine months. We don't feel comfortable, but post C-section is so important just to give your body time to recover. I don't know why the doctor is saying it's okay for her to go back to yoga three weeks postpartum. I really wouldn't recommend that, especially any you know, ab extension stuff. No, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. What I would recommend post C-section, and you can start as early as three weeks, provided you feel okay and have no pain or have no symptoms when you start getting back into things. So no increased bleeding, no additional pain, no, no trouble sleeping, all of these things matter, right? So things you can start doing, core connection breath getting the pelvic floor in the core working as a system because especially post c-section i had a c-section too and post c-section you're like what what happened to my core where on earth did my core go so it's really important to start with those basic basic things waking all those muscles up things like glute bridges um heel slides provided you feel no pain heel slides clamshells are great to work those glute medius muscles that help stabilize the pelvis, all those things are good to do. We recommend doing a core and pelvic floor rehab program for at least four to six weeks. And you can start this as early as three to four weeks. You also want to make sure that you're checking for diastasis. Super important to know because we know the healing of diastasis happens within that first eight weeks. Most of it happens within that first eight weeks postpartum. As far as running goes, we don't recommend running, whether you've had a C-section or a regular birth, we don't recommend running until at least 16 weeks. Don't hate me, everybody hates me saying that. 16 weeks, four to six months postpartum. Heal well now, be patient, let yourself heal well now so you can prevent further issues down the line. I know people in the fitness industry, personal trainers, crossfitters, runners, who develop prolapse and issues seven, 12 months postpartum because they're trying to rush things and the pelvic floor is just always fatigued. So if you're not healing properly now, you could develop issues down the line. You know, we always like to say, just because you don't have issues now doesn't mean that they can come later on. So as far as running, C-section recovery or any recovery, but specifically for C-section recovery, four to six weeks focusing on a pelvic floor and core rehab program. Just because you had a C-section doesn't mean that your pelvic floor is fine because the weight of the baby during pregnancy stretches everything and we still need to work the pelvic floor. After that, 
once your core feels good, then we can progress to a postpartum specific strength training program for six to eight weeks. So we don't want to go straight back into plyos or heavy lifting. We still want to be doing a postpartum specific strength training program that's still incorporating pelvic floor and core as well as starting to add things back like squats, deadlifts, all that other kind of stuff. Rows, rows are so good postpartum. Oh my gosh. We're always so tight in the shoulders from constantly holding and nursing baby rows and anything to do with the upper back muscles are awesome to add into a postpartum strength training program. Once you have done six to eight weeks, then if you feel okay, then you can start going back into running. And we actually recommend starting with an interval type training program as you progress back into running. It is actually less pressure on the pelvic floor doing short bursts of running with walking instead of trying to do a five to 10, 15 minute run flat out. So I hope this info is helpful. Oh, and by the way, when you go back to running, pay attention to how your pelvic floor is feeling. If you start leaking, if you feel like you need to pee a lot, or if you need to go to the bathroom before you go running, this is a sign that your pelvic floor isn't quite ready to go back to running. And there are things that we can do to kind of help you get there. There's strength training things that we can do. It may even be the way you're breathing or a posture a certain little uh, posture fix that we can do. But pay attention to these things. Leaking, peeing. People think it is normal postpartum and it is not. Super common, but it's not normal. So if this is happening, we definitely wanna take a look at that and maybe see why it's happening. So I hope this info is helpful. I really wanted to share that question with you guys because C-section recovery is so important, postpartum recovery in general, but specifically C-section. We do not want to rush the recovery back because it can lead to all kinds of issues, umbilical hernias, diastasis, incontinence, prolapse, like so many things. So just be patient. I know it's so hard postpartum because we just want to lose the weight. We just want to feel comfortable again, but it is so important to be patient. Heal well now so you can save yourself issues down the line. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. This is why I have the group and I just hear stories like this all the time. I remember way back one of my clients, I think it was her second C-section actually. And uh, I'll never forget it. She told me, oh, the doctor gave me the okay at four weeks postpartum. I've been doing hanging, hanging leg lifts then. I've been adding weight. And I was like, oh, no, 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 please don't. But people don't know what they don't know, right? So just please ask questions. That's why I'm here to make sure you guys heal well. So yay, Tanya, yay. I'm just hoping that the info here is helpful. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Happy Monday and oh, I was wondering also, I know I'm kind of, oh, I was wondering also if you guys would be interested in the hopping on maybe once every other week to do sample workouts of different phases during pregnancy, postpartum, just sample workouts that you can do at home. I know a lot of you have been asking me workout uh, questions, so I'm more than happy to jump on and, and give you guys a workout for the week or whatever, maybe every other week. So let me know and I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me, leave a question under the video or post in the group. Have an awesome week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.